Good morning, guys. As promised, I wanted to give you a more in-depth look at the stuff that I picked up yesterday. So, this guy had uh, contacted me through Craigslist. Um, I run a Craigslist ad advertising that I, on, in the wanted section, advertising that I buy tools. He contacted me and said he had some stuff in the barn. And uh, I went out there and uh, the price was right. Most of it was a throw-in. Uh, I basically, I, I wanted the bench grinder, the Craftsman table saw, and the Parker Vice. Everything else is more or less free. Um, and I'll go through and show you what we got here. So, it'll be a little longer video, but just sit back and enjoy. So, the bench grinder here, um, it looks to be an 8-inch. Uh, I don't have uh, any information on the manufacturer. It's definitely older. And I'm thinking that it's either uh, three-quarter or one horse. Um, everything does work. He told me that if anything didn't work, he would have thrown it out. Um, so, Let's zoom in and out of focus. Sorry about that. Anyway, so we got that. The old bench grinder. I'll pull that off and... Bring out the next piece. Got some weight to it though, I'll tell you what. Now, this is a craftsman piece. Uh, it's either part of a lathe or, or it's the whole lathe. Or Again, I'm not too knowledgeable on lathes. Um, anyone that can help me out, I would appreciate it. I'm hoping that I can use this maybe to turn wood. Um, it's got the craftsman emblem there and uh, basically you got a pulley uh, I got a pulley in here and it'll turn this and obviously this will turn with it so I'm thinking you could probably put a chunk of wood in there and spin it so oh here's some information uh, this is model 103. 21600 and again I'm not sure if it's missing any pieces and I'm hoping I can use it like this obviously I'm going to hook a motor up to it uh, and possibly maybe I could even hook a, uh, a chuck up to it but it's a smaller piece it's probably three three and a half four feet but uh, so oh. That. We got a quarter horse Westinghouse motor, and I will use this probably to run the uh, the lathe. If not, it'll go in my motor stash. I got about ten motors over there, all working. This already has the cord, the plug wired right to it. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Oh, there's some cracking in the. That'll need replacement for sure. But I'm gonna grab the vice. Give me one sec. Alrighty, so yeah, this little uh, this axe sharpener stone is a great table. Okay, so that's the Parker Vice, and it's model 23X, and I've started to do some work on it. Um, they had a bolt going through here; it was bent. It was just a bolt, and I ended up breaking that off. And there was a couple. Of bolts in here in the base so I got all the hardware off and this is loose and the bottom does swivel uh, it does turn that I, I moved it already so that's a good size vise um, it's gonna clean up well I know the Parkers are good vices uh, this is my first Parker I 
several other vices <sighs> spinning around. It's the uh, 23X, and this is kind of, it's got this little tab. So yeah, it looks about a three and a half, four inch jaw, swivel base. Uh, this is really nice here, I, I like the end. So that's gonna all clean up well. You'll never know it was rusty when I'm done with it. So let me get this out of the way and bring over the next piece. This is what I started working on this morning. I'm gonna um, hopefully get it all disassembled before I go to sleep. Oh. All right. So as I was carrying the vice back over to the bench, I bumped into my other vice, the uh, American Scales, the 160 pounder. <laughs> All right, so, geez, I don't know if this is even gonna be able to sit on this. Uh, I'll do my best. Eesh. Eesh. Okay, so this is, this was a throw-in. Um, let me let me angle the camera up a little here. That is this is a Craftsman Professional 12 inch compound sliding miter saw with laser. Now these I looked up and they're you know they're going for three four hundred bucks, um, but this thing here it'll do just about anything. It does work. I think it's missing the uh, the dust bag. Not a big deal. I, I'm sure I could order one, uh, and I might do so. This I might end up selling. I could sell this and easily make the money back that I paid for this whole lot, and I might just do that. I, I don't know. I might keep it. It's kind of cool. Uh, not sure on its age, but it, it just looks super handy. I mean, if you're building anything with wood. I mean that's that's the ticket right there, and I know some of these some of these miter saws like the DeWalt's. Oh my God, the prices are just insane, absolutely insane. So, but the guy didn't want this stuff, and he he pretty much he almost begged me to begged me to buy it all. So I uh, I couldn't refuse. So. Let's see if I can get this Craftsman table saw up next. Now, oh, bear with me. Try to get this up here and give you a, give you a shot of her. Oh, this isn't that bad. Okay, so. Right there. Bing, bang, boom. All right, so you can see the side there, and that'll give you an idea of the, the time, um, the era. In which this was made. Um, I'm not sure offhand. It's older. I love the chrome handle um, knob there. Uh, this this saw is complete with base. It's got uh, it's got the two cast iron uh, side pieces that attach to this. It's got, <clears throat> it's got everything. I mean, it's got <clears throat> every single thing that um, would have came new. You know, every piece that came with it, and I just love the old chrome. So, <clears throat> that's what sold me on this. I, you know, I wouldn't have wasted my time on it. Uh, this is uh, 103.23834, and Sarah's and Roebuck. So it's got a metal base, like I said, and it's the whole unit. And this um, toggle switch, this is a Craftsman power panel. So that's an actual Craftsman stand, and uh, yeah, so we're in there. Take this thing back down, I'll show you. Some, some other oof, features on it. Oh, oh man, I tell you. Working with 
very limited space here. So I showed these briefly yesterday. Um, these here are attached to the side, and this is a roller setup. So that'll be uh, pretty cool. So you basically figuring it goes like this, something like this. You know, and you can uh, slide your, your boards and whatnot right across this. So that, that's pretty cool. I've never seen a saw with rollers on it. So I don't have a ton of experience with uh, table saws. But And then, another thing that sold me on it was it's got the matching motor. This is, of course, why wouldn't it be? Try to get this cord out from under here. Okay. I'll tell you, I'm sweating already. Yeah, so we have a three quarter horse Craftsman capacitor motor, 3450 RPM, uh, 9.3 amp. Sears and Roebuck. On and off, boom. What's cool about this is it has dual ends, so I could this could easily be a, a bench grinder. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna separate it. I'm gonna keep it with the saw. And the gauge on this cord is freaking huge. Look how thick that cord is. The cord is as thick as my pinky finger. <clears throat> not grounded either, huh? Alright, so we got the whole saw set up. I showed you all the good stuff. Uh, the bench grinder, the saw, the vise, the lathe. Uh, everything else, pretty much freebies. I got a, a Ryobi. This is a little tile saw. Little, little guy. It's got some weight to it though, I'll tell you what. And... That. There's some other stuff here I'll, I'll show you as well. It's got a uh, water line that uh, hooks up to it somehow. Goes with it. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, it's it's one of those things where if you ever did need it, what are you going to do? I mean, you're not going to cut tile with a regular saw. I, got, I suppose I would probably try but, uh, you know, it'd just be nice to have the the real thing if you ever need it. So, and for free, I mean, it's a Ryobi. It's nothing special. But, uh, it's there. If you ever need to do some tile work in the ba uh, bathroom or whatever. Or... All right. Drill Doctor 300, that was in there. I've heard, uh, I've heard mixed reviews on the Drill Doctor. I've nothing, actually, I, not even mixed, I've heard bad things about it. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say anything good about this. Uh, and, and ever, you know, for the most part, people are like, you know, uh, take a couple hours and learn how to sharpen a drill bit manually. You know, what are you going to do with this thing? I mean... Uh, I don't know. Well, it looks like, uh, mm, up to half inch, if I'm reading this correctly. So, I'm going to give it a shot. I'll tell you what, I got a lot of drill bits that are dull. So, I'm going to give it a whirl, and I'll keep you posted, but, um, I'm just reading the back here. It says Professional Tool Manufacturer LLC, Ashland, Oregon, USA. Huh. I can't imagine this is made in USA, but hey, stranger things have happened. All 
Alrighty, so, eh, nothing really worth mentioning here, but just a work light. I got it because uh, I got a handful of these different work lights and they're pretty handy. And this one has the uh, this little spool. So I figure I'll clean that up. And uh, it's a cordon air. Yeah. Anyways. Again, this isn't stuff that I would buy. This stuff he threw in for free. Uh, the DeWalt XRP. Let's see what we got here. This is heavy duty half inch uh, cordless drill driver slash hammer drill. Great. Um, hmm. Uh, 14.4 volts. Oops. I think I have 18 volt um, DeWalt's, but I could get a battery nonetheless. Um, actually, I'm interested in this chuck. My newer DeWalt chuck is shot, and I can't even get it off. And I've tried everything. So, um, maybe I can use the chuck on it. <clears throat> so, I got that. This I actually did want. I actually did want this. Um, this is a Delta Shopmaster. Um, with a... It's grinding stone, very fine. Looks like it's got forward reverse. And this is cool. This would be a good knife sharpener or tungsten sharpener. But uh, I like it. Uh, see the face. It's trying to 170 RPM. So, yeah. Not bad. We'll give that a whirl. Anything, any gr grinding type of tool, I'm, I'm all for it. I do a ton of grinding. <clears throat> I got this little organizer thing. Just, uh, you know, I've had these and sold them in the past, but uh, I picked that up just for hardware and stuff. I got the only little pump boiler can he had. This is just a mini one. I mean, that probably holds one or two ounces. No brand name, but uh, it's there. Okay. What else? Got a couple boxes and stuff here to show you still. But we got this C.H. Uh, Hansen uh, pitch, pitch and angle. Gauge, I guess you'd call it, but it's got this little this little ball with liquid in it, and it appears to be some kind of liquid. And I guess that would tell you what angle or pitch you're at um, if you were to lay this down over a surface. Uh, it's got uh, stainless steel sides. Uh, I was trying to find it. When I first saw this, if it was U.S. made or not, but, you know, it doesn't say, it just says, they go on and on about generations and generations of quality, you know, but there's no, <sighs> tools for generations. It's got a picture of a Viking on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Eh. Will I ever use this? Probably not. I've never seen that in my life. Anything like this in my life. Of course, that doesn't mean anything. Probably a lot that I haven't seen. Okay, so the one box is basically nothing. <clears throat> I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. There's some. There's some. There's uh. There's a four different double-ended uh, ratcheting wrenches. Three of them are Taiwanese, and this, the most important sized one, in my opinion, uh, is a Vulcan USA made uh, with 9 16 and a half inch. Probably the two sizes I use most, so this is a good pickup. I didn't notice this in there, actually, when I passed. I thought they were all this uh, Taiwanese KMC tools, but, uh, eh, got those. This is actually pretty decent. 
this little square. It's an Empire USA made, and it's got this strange rust swirling all over it. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't. It's like in there. I, I don't know. So, got that. <clears throat> cans of uh, Tiki Torch fuel, which is actually pretty convenient because I just got, somebody gave me three big bamboo Tiki Torches, so I'll be able to use these, they, and they set right in the lights. And then there was uh, two junk no-name 3-8 drive ratchets and a Pakistanian uh, set of needle nose pliers with one half of a grip. So, uh, damned if you're not screwed 16 ways from Sunday uh, with this piece, but uh, again, it was free. And the bottles have the wicks right in them, they, and I guess they just drop right in, and you got your little cap. So, deal on that. Get all this. And I'll pull up the last box. I got some work to do here. Sorting this stuff out. Getting it put somewhere temporarily. I started to show this stuff yesterday, but. Alright. Alrighty. So. This is the GMC Global Machinery Company 12 volt power drill. Now, if you're a serious tool fanatic, you have you simply have to have this drill. Uh, th there'll be plenty of situations in your in your life where you'll need a drill of this caliber. Um, so, if you have the means, I, I would highly recommend picking this up. Nice piece, definitely nice. I hope you're picking up my sarcasm because I'm laying it on pretty thick. Alright. <clears throat> Next up, I have this exact charger, as a matter of fact. It's sitting right over there, about 10 feet away from the camera. Uh, Schumacher 6 or 12 amp battery charger. I'm sorry. 6 slash 2 amp, 6 or 12 volt. So, got that. Not bad. We'll take it. Definitely, uh, <clears throat> I've had to use these before, and definitely good to have them. And there's another battery charger. Okay. This is a USA made Pittsburgh Industrial. I don't think this is to be confused with any uh, Harbor Freight Pits Pittsburgh. I don't believe that they're affiliated at all. So this is 6 or 12 volt as well, and it's 5.5 and amps. Um, hmm. Yeah. I just don't think this is uh, Harbor Freight. It's a little older. Yeah. I, I, so, that's in there. Good deal. Little mess of cords there. Okay. Then set of uh, positive and negative clamps. Cool. I guess it's cool. A pair of reflectors. Okay. What is this to? Tell me this is for the... <laughs> I'm going to be done. This is for the drill. Uh, we got a little charger here. Oh, this is Techniques. This might be an audio piece, but it was in the box either way. All right, last two pieces. Nice, Makita. 
little uh, little Makita palm sander. Sorry, I'm just reading it. Um, Makita Corporation of America. Huh. So that's cool. It's a Makita. It's got the dust bag. Not bad. That's actually a halfway decent little sander. If I didn't have 15 of them, I'd be a little more excited. But what the hell is this? Uh oh. This is a, a GMC piece. That might go to that power drill. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. This is all coming together now, boys. If I'm not mistaken, if I wanted to use my GMC 12 volt power drill and the battery was dead, I believe this plugs into this. Okay. Just like that. Plug that in the wall. And how the hell? To the bottom of this. I don't see how this battery would connect to that. Oh, okay, it does. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna be able to use this GMC drill after all. So when you want to charge your battery, you just throw that right on there. Bugs your anti. There we go. All right, so we got the the whole setup for the GMC power drill. That's cool. All right. All right, and the last piece we got here <clears throat> is a Bosch. Stuff's falling out everywhere. This is a Bosch or Bosch fine cut. Now, I'm not uh, I'm not a rocket scientist by any means, but you know, something tells me there's something missing for this. I'll have to do a little bit of research on this piece. But uh, it's the Bosch Fine Cut. Huh, that's it. All right. So I also got... If you look in the distance, right next to the red buggy... There's two long gun cases. Um, one of them is a Plano, and one of them is a uh, uh, Red Cap, I believe, or something to that effect. And there's also a BB gun, a rifle BB gun that he gave me for free, so not bad. Again, I paid next to nothing for the stuff that I wanted, and everything else is free, so I got my hands full here. Uh, so I better get sorting through this stuff and figure out what's what. I got some work to do on the vice yet. I appreciate you guys watching, as as I always do, and uh, hopefully you got a little kick out of the stuff I got uh, yesterday. Stay tuned. I got uh, many, many projects in the works, and I should have an update on the Parker Vice here in the next couple of days. I hope you have yourself a good day. Take it easy. Thanks.